Hi everyone, we are interrupting your regularly scheduled programming to present to you a show in the sky this afternoon as the moon passes between the sun and earth creating a solar eclipse. Hannah, we have team coverage today telling you everything you need to know as the Low Country is getting a partial viewing of the eclipse and different states across the country will reach totality today. You're taking a live look from states across the nation and NASA's telescope feed showing you the different areas that will reach totality over the next hour or so and where partial viewing is starting soon. It's already underway right now in Texas. Definitely lots of excitement today. We want to start closer to home with the Low Country's Chief Meteorologist Rob Fowler, who is joining us live right now from Ford Moultrie. Rob, you're in a prime viewing spot for the partial eclipse this afternoon with plenty of sun and nice temperatures. How are things looking out there on Sullivan's Island? Well, Josh, a lot better than 2017 when we had to sweat the weather out literally in terms of clouds and rain. Today we have blue skies as the forecast kind of verifies. It's beautiful here at Fort Moultrie. Uh, Walt Young is here. and Walt, you're going to give a demonstration coming up at 3, but we're kind of entering first contact right now. So we're going to start to see that moon shadow cover up the sun. Tell us what's happening here. A lot of folks are coming. They are coming. For sure, we've got a good crowd coming out today uh, to see the last eclipse we'll be able to see in North America for about 20 years. Uh, this will be an awesome experience. Uh, I've got some props for kids to show how eclipses work, uh, and I've got plenty of uh, pl plenty of photographs to share with you of some early eclipses in American history. And you guys have glasses uh, to give out as well. We do. Please do not look directly at the sun unless you are wearing a pair of eclipse glasses. Uh, and we do have them here. We're, uh, we're giving them out to, if you have a family with you, we might give you one for your family. We want to make sure everyone gets one. Okay, we're waiting for just after 3 o'clock when we get the most eclipse it will get, uh, about 70%. So we're looking forward to that. Correct, absolutely. All right, thank, thanks, Walt. I know you got a crowd waiting for you back there. Absolutely. So, again, we're here live, and uh, come on, there's still time to come out to Fort Moultrie on Sullivan's Island, and you can enjoy the clip, eclipse, the solar eclipse, partial solar eclipse with us. We'll hand it back to the TV2 News Studio with uh, Josh and Hannah. Rob, thank you so much. Yeah, we've got a blue sky overhead, and that blue sky is going to be with us all the way through the rest of the afternoon. If you look at the satellite image here, all the cloud cover is back unfortunately in some areas that are going to be experiencing totality just like we had back in 2017 you're getting a little bit of a mess out there to parts of the up uh, to our west but for us plenty of sun and blue sky overhead look at this it is just stunning as we move into the mid-afternoon hours with temperatures in the low to mid 70s with mid and upper 60s out along the coast this is about as good as you can get uh, for viewing a partial eclipse. Just remember, the only impact we're going to see here as far as like a darkening of the sky will be just a slight dimming. Most of us probably won't even notice it, uh, but if you do, it'll be kind of like what you would experience on a hazy summer afternoon. Thank you, Josh. And those partial viewings are starting right now in several cities across the U.S. We're showing you a live look right now from different states, including New York, Ohio, and Texas. And these will all reach totality later this afternoon. In Mexico, the eclipse is making its very first stop in Mazatlan. We're showing you a look at some video from NASA's telescope view of Mazatlan, where the sun is just inches away from being fully covered. Is expected to happen there in just a couple of minutes. Back here in the low country, the partial viewing will reach up to 70% coverage. Again, Rob live from one of the prime viewing spots at Fort Moultrie on Sullivan's Island. And Rob is telling us more about when we can expect to see that coverage here and also what time our peak coverage is set to hit. Hey, Rob. Hey, Hannah, it's actually starting right now. And if you look at the sun through your official glasses, you'll be able to see the beginning of that. But it's 310 that we expect to see 70% coverage of the sun, of course, as the moon passes between us and the sun casting that shadow. So that's when we're going to see 310. Uh, that would be the time to really be looking up, if you will. We've got folks coming out here to Fort Moultrie, and I know they're ready to go. They've got their glasses. They're coming in families. They're coming in singles. We've had a lot of folks who are tourists here, and they said, we we want to come here and watch it, but the skies are blue. It's perfect viewing conditions for us. Just got to be careful. Make sure you've got your glasses. And I know we're going to go to Al Roker here in just a second. And what's interesting is Al Roker actually came here back in 2017 and did a broadcast live from the Yorktown, the total solar eclipse back in August of 2017. Speaking of Al Roker, let's head to Al right now as NBC picks up the coverage right now where there is going to be totality.